Hey, what's going on guys? Well, today I am going to show you how to make your name or anything else you want to make. Um, so there's a bunch of different ways to do this. Um, one way is you can do it with the basically double wide this. So basically it would be, you could just take a bunch of one by ones and then just um, stack them like this to make up your name. But I found that that made it really wide and um, it, it made certain spots, like um, the Y and the N would look a little weirder. It's already really hard to get these like, you know, half spaces to get stuff to connect. So I find like this way is the best way, in my opinion, like I said, there's so many different ways. I, there's probably even more than I'm not even thinking of. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how to make your name this way. So basically, I will just show you how to make each letter, and then uh, you can go from there. So these right now, they're just kind of popped in there. They're they're not actually being held in any in any way. So um, there's you know you can do different ways to do that to hold them in. Um, you can do a modified brick here on the side, but um, just I feel like this way I'm going to show you is just the easiest way because you could probably have a lot of these pieces just laying around. So this one is, yeah, you can see some discolored bricks here. But uh, this is how you make just like a frame. So I just take a, a like a two by four here and a bunch of um, one by twos. And then you got to have a nice smooth piece here. So you got a tile. And so that's basically all that is. Um, and then, then you have your, your frame and then depending on how long your name is or how many letters, you do it like that. So, all right, so here, here's, let's make an A. Now just real quick, almost all of this is going to be um, five plates high or it'll be a plate on its side. That's how you're gonna make almost all of these. So see, here's your A, okay? So I'll drop those in place. And then a lot of times you'll see, so there's your A. A lot of times you'll see where um, they'll kind of connect to a bunch of your following letters. So I'll just show you on mine real quick. So here's my W. Pieces here. But here, see? So that's part of my W and then the space in between and then part of my A right there. And then again, I can't connect that to there. So there's that. But see all of this? Look at that. So that's part of my A and then space, and then my Y, part of my space, N. So these are just one by ones, you know, there, and these are one by twos. That's all that is. So that's all of that all connected right there. The Y and the N, and then part of the E, and then once again, it's stacked up. So just keep that in mind uh, if you're making your name, you know, longer you're following than letters. One so letter. I'm just I'll just show you, you on mine real quick. So here's my W letter here, So and then here's my part of my w mm -hmm. again still oh, i gotta find some see i had to use a yeah, flat so. there's just an a so let's pop those out and then now we'll do a b Now basically your C, you're just going to take out that middle yellow one and then got, you have three gray in the middle and a yellow on top, yellow on the bottom. I think of some different ways to do a B, but I think um, without getting too hard into it. Now even harder, <laughs> this I kept this here so, because uh, you don't want the yellow on the bottom. You could do this. That's how then, you do your O. 
basically and, just alternate between probably the be grays your and best the way to do a D, one. unfortunately. I'm um, putting the, the tiles on the top. So that's why uh, this one, I had a lot of black tiles. So <clears throat> I also did the rest of my family's name and then some other ones too. I don't know if I put those on my Instagram or not, but so it looks like an E right there. That's how. Yeah, I have them. So, depending on what your next letter would be, you could do a, you know, this. There we go. We'll, we'll worry about that when we get there, though. But, yeah, unfortunately, um, that's just how it is. Sometimes the certain letters look really weird. Like my W is super wide. Um, R's look weird. Um, K's look weird. And as you can see right here that I'm now finding out that that D's look weird too. Uh, they just look like O's. But, I'm you know, if it's your name and people see it, you know, it's like D-A-V-I, you know, D. You know, they're not going to think it's an two O's. They're going to understand that those, those are D's. So unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Like I said, there's other ways of doing it that would be way more complicated and might space things out, but I found that this overall is the easiest way to do it. So, all right, uh, E, and I just took all that apart. I didn't need to. <laughs> I have to do an E. So E is, wait, we basically already made one. So yeah, let's, never mind. It's just alternating again, the grays and the so yellows. This is what I Here. think will work good there for. G and... Like that. Okay, there's an E. Okay. And like I said, just put this. That looks like a pretty good G to me as a so. space in between your next set of letters. Okay, <clears throat> and then an F. Basically, we'll just switch this little guy out here for this gray. And F. There you go. All right, and then a G. Now this one. I think we might do that kind of what we were talking about here. And put this guy on the top here. All right. So we need what? Oh, wait. What am I doing? Uh, two. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And then two. Or then one yellow and then two grays. Okay. Makes five. And then you put one guy there. One like that. And then another one. Yellow on the top and the bottom. But like I said, do not forget that Remember, when you go five, into your, you can put five, your one space to make that. And then if they're on your next side, letter is, it, it might be real um, helpful to, to move it two on one to by ones on the side straight, straight, or a one by two um, into the next letters. So, so that's how we get our G. Just depending on what okay. your letter, you know, your next, next letter is. So rather than H using, all right. Um, all right, these actually pretty. you could do right here just, just to show you. Um, Let's say your next one needs a flat tile, but you can go like that. See? Or most likely, you're going to go into, let's say, another tile, like an A or something. Say your name's Hank. Okay? So basically, you do a 1 by 2 yellow, 1 by 2 gray, and a 1 by 2 yellow again for the part of your A. Right? So there's your H and then part of your A, and then you would do this same thing in the middle, right? You do the one by twos again to get your A, and then you'd want to yellow up on top, and they would go right there. That'd be your Hank, okay? So just to keep that in mind that you can kind of do spacing like that in between. Try to connect as many pieces as you can so they're not all loose. Now, something to keep in mind, this is exactly, um, what is it, three three tiles tall. So, there's three tiles, four and five. Now, it's a lot easier to do it that way. So, 
There is, that's an L, okay? And then we'll do this for a J. There you go, what do you think? There's a J. Okay. I think All if you right. try to do too much at the top, what, a H? especially like oh, on the eyes and stuff oh, like that, goodness. it makes them okay. too wide. Yeah, there you go. And then there it also go. kind of gets a little confusing up there. <laughs> Basically, There's I should have separated that. Huh? that o or uh, I think that's the best way so, to do your I think Now so for a J. Like that. <clears throat> okay. Like I said, here's an L. <laughs> we won't do it again. When we do the K. All right, let's do the K. So like I said before, the K is going to look a little funny, but it's about the only way you can do it, unfortunately. So gray, gray, yellow, and then gray and gray. So you're going to have that, that middle line in there. Then this one is we're gonna need some more of these guys uh, this one gets a little weird yellow and gray on top of each other and then we'll get our space and then now it's yellow and gray so it kind of looks like that and then when you put it here it looks like that <coughs> like I said it's I know it looks weird but if you did it straight it would look like an H and I there's not really a way to get it to go um, kitty corner I've tried it with some cheese wedge pieces and it, it, they don't really stay in there well and they don't fit well unfortunately that's just I think that's the best way to do it like I said with with quick without some crazy pieces and some ingenuity this is the easiest way I think so and then, uh, honestly, I, I could show you on my daughter's, because her, her name has a K in it. Um, if, if you look at it with the distance with all the letters, it it doesn't... Same with the, that D and the O, uh, it will blend in. No one's really going to ask, like, what letter is that? There's just, it just happens to look kind of funny. Same with my N. Just kind of looks a little funny. But when you see it, you're just like, oh, yeah, that's easy. I know what that is. So, all right. Um, like I said, the L, we already did it. All right, now an M. Looks really cool. Maybe I'll redo my W because I don't like how it looks and how wide it is. couple of different ways i'm thinking in my head where we could do an m we can do the m basically the same way i did my w upside down which was it's a tile and then it's a, a tile on its side or I'm a tile on its side tile standing and then you know the the five gray and then vice versa it's just i don't think it's gonna look that good oh wait okay so let's do this 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 that 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 and that oh i don't know guys what do you tell me what you think do you like that one better or do you like that one better like i said if it was an m i guess we'd do it like that so which m do you like better the bigger one or the 
that one seems more, um, um, uh, I don't know what to call it. I try to think of the word, but more the same size as the rest of the letters. I probably should redo mine, honestly. It's kind of a big W. So yeah, it actually doesn't look too bad. And so I'm pretty sure you guys saw me do that. But, ah! Basically it was a one by two and then a one by one yellow, one by one gray, one by two yellow, one by one yellow, one by one gray, one by one, or I mean one by two uh, yellow plate and then the your space, depending on what your next letter is. But yeah, I, I think that looks actually pretty good. I might actually have to redo my W. I think that looks better. All right, here we uh, go there. Oh, and then an N. So basically an N is and you're going to have almost your like that. Yellow on the bottom, three Except gray we don't have this on the middle. The middle, and then a yellow on the top Maybe. tile. So it sits smooth against the sideways um, one by so, twos. And then, yeah, there it goes, just sure. like that. Okay. So it's a one by two, a P. one by one, one by one. Make one, one of these one by one. My one daughter's teacher, in alternating colors. Made her one of these things that too. Everyone's getting one. Is an N. Like I said, it, to me, looking at it, especially when you look at it kind of close, it doesn't look like it. You're like, what is that? But when you look at it from a distance or when it's all on a line, it looks pretty good. P. All right. Is and oh, we are two gray on the bottom, and then your colored choice. In our case, it's a yellow, one by one, and then a gray one by one, and then a yellow one by one tile. And then now this, you have to do it like this. Only half size, okay? So we want. We'll do this with a gray tile for our space because we don't know what our next letter is going to be. Maybe your name's Papa. Okay, so a yellow and a gray, one by one, just like that. And then boom, there's your P, okay? That looks pretty good. And I like how it steps down. I wish I could do that with my B, but it would just, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. All right, so that's a P. And then now, um, all right. Our Q, which we did earlier too, but we'll do it again. Did we do, or we did the G? I think this is pretty much the same um, idea though. Oh wait, is it? Didn't think about that. Well, no, because we uh, G, we weren't fully closed, right? The G, we had it kind of come up. It only came up partial way, so this one will come up like this. Okay, and boom, something like that. I think this is gonna work. So one by two and then one by ones and then a one by two again. And what do you think? That look like a Q? Looks like a pretty good Q to me. All right. Colors again. Moving that line over diagonally, kind of. <laughs> like I said, this looks a little weird, kind of like our K did. So it looks like a P with a little thing. Like I said, it, right here, it just looks like it's a P with a with a dot behind it. But my wife's name has an R in it. And all together, it looks fine from a distance. yellow and then two grays <clears throat> similar to our p so gray gray yellow gray yellow okay The only way I can really think of make it R. Okay. 
Now an S. Haven't made one of these yet. Let's see here. The only way I can think of is to do it the, the wide way because, <coughs> well, actually, no, I, I, got a, I got a narrow way to do it. Let's try. I've got a couple different ways in my head. Let's see. We'll try doing it the narrow way, and then if it doesn't work, then we'll do it the wide way. I know the wide way will work. It's just... Um, it's just going to be wide. So let's try the, let's try the narrow way and just see what it looks like. So we'll, right now I'm just going to do the middle piece here, which won't change for the wide or the narrow. So this will ch stay the same. And then we are going to need, let's pop this bad boy out right now. So that way it can help hold this. Oops, not that. I need another. Oh, I don't know if I got enough of these to do to do that. Let's see. Um, let's see. Yeah, that, that's not. It's not gonna work that way. It won't work. My brain. I have, I'm more of a visual person, so I actually have to see it. And it's not going to work. So it has to go. It has to go the wide way. So we're going to need a bunch of this stuff. Bunch more. And like I said, I've done a lot of letters in the past the wide way. To my they opinion, good, I think. But the, it's the, just they take up a lot more room. And yeah, you still big. have the so same kind of like problems how I did with the, w, the R's and the K's. So it works. It's just you don't get What I find is it so basically how it's real um, wide here. I just feel like real narrow I, here. The, the narrow way looks here. better. You have a lot of your letters it, for the most know. part. It, I, you know, like your G's, your A's, but basically B's and C's. When I show you this, you'll be able to see super wide on the sides. And then on the tops and stuff, they'll be real yeah, narrow the wide way the, the middle way like all the way around stuff like that because so you just got to remember that like everything's better five, to lay them um, one by all on the side so, so the line see, the thicknesses uh, of the lines are the one, exact two, same three, all four, around and a five. um where you know like but like this one it's impossible to do it oh, that I guess way so it's, it's gonna have to be like this. done Watch this way so the fat way there you go so that's nice Just try to think of how to help hold yourself, hold pieces together. So something like that. And then you got this. What are we doing? You. And then we got to do another one. And depending on what our next letter is. But there we go. There's your U. Okay. So this, this will be it's a just a easier. one by two so plate. Here's three. Here's four. And then a um, and one five. yellow one by one. And then, you know. All Boom. these are all gray. Remember, add it up to five. And then we'll do it again. And then another one by two plate yellow. Three, and four, space. and five. When I keep saying five is because technically this is five plates high, right? And then we're going to stick a one by two tile in the middle. And then we're basically going to reverse that in the middle. And then we're going to build another one of those. Let's see. All right. Those one by two bricks made quick work of that. So yeah, that's how you make a V. That uh like I said, it's gonna be wide like my W, but that is probably gonna be your best way to do it. And then we'll do the space. 
I think that's just gonna look just like a U though. You could probably mess with it on your own and maybe you can come up with an idea of how you can get it to look better. So at least I can, at least this gets you started, you know? And then your W, like I said, I showed you there. Um, it's just a one by two and then a one by one on the bottom and then four grays, one by two. And then I, uh, another one by one and then the four one by ones. Or or you can use a brick. That way, we're one gonna by have a huge two space tile. in between. Or we can redo our oh, W that's, that's how we did it before. Uh, mm, we'll so do it again just for to serve like our that memory. That red's really kind of hard. Basically, it we off, took a. It looks okay. Um, so, like I said, unfortunately, space, some letters just look weird. I think the the white way is going to be a yellow one by one, a yellow uh, gray one by one up top. A yellow one by two, a yellow one by one on the bottom, a gray one by one, and then a one by two. And there is our W. Two different ways. I, I like the way this one looks better, but to keep everything geometric, I think this one works good too i i'm undecided if i'm gonna change mine on my name tag this is already my second or third name tag i took to work so i keep keep changing it just a little bit here and there i even changed the batman on it so i had a different batman on there i like this one better because he has similar colors that are featured here where the other one was just all black so all right Kind of start to see it. You start with your space and then you start with your yellow and gray and gray up here and get back here i think, we'll I, think I think the only way you can do this one is wide i think and yellow and gray but it's gonna be so yellow. darn wide it's gonna be and it's it's gonna be like five wide next so space we're definitely not gonna have you enough know what room. your letter is you can go in, even into an e with your you know, gray and then yellow again. So we'll, we'll just do it. We'll stop it at the space. So that yeah. is... So I think that's the wide. only way to make it super wide, unfortunately. <clears throat> like I said, hopefully hopefully no one has an X in their name. If you do, then uh, that, might, that one might be a little difficult. on the bottom okay and then a yellow here a gray here a yellow here start getting our zigzag here gray 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 and then uh you we'll actually we do a yellow on the top there so okay so it's starting to kind of whoosh, whoosh. then this will be another gray and then this bad boy here okay 
get that all lined up. No hairs in it. Okay. You can already kind of already kind of see it. All right. And then we got another yellow. And then gray, gray. Ah! Look at this one. I wonder where that one went. There it is. So yellow, gray, gray, and then yellow, yellow. Okay. So yellow and yellow. And then we got a good looking Z, maybe. If I can get it all turning right here. Jeez. Here, let's stick a stick this space in there. Oh, I think we got that weird. Yeah, so you'll run into that too. So see like this, sometimes your spacing will just be just off. And it's just it's just some of these letters like this will 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 mess up that spacing. And you'll just basically have to find out how basically these are spaced a little differently. So if you do that in there, you could you could basically get that back. You just got to figure it out. Um, like I said, luckily I didn't have to do that on this one. I could show you. I could show you on, um, who was it? I think it was our teacher's name. It it had that, just the proper spacing to where it, it messed up, where it, we actually had to figure it out to get, to get that spacing back, basically. Because let's see, is that right? I think that's right yeah see so you can see right there you're just gonna have to you have to keep messing with it to try to get it this the spacing right when that happens and if that happens like i said you might just have to make sure you try to keep it a little even you don't want to like this big space on the end you know unless you make like an exclamation point or something cool but um but that's a that's a z right there that looks like a good z it's just wide some of the times i don't think there's any way around the wide part so, but yeah, that is the alphabet. So now you can make your guys' name tag. So I hope that's helpful. Um, if it, like I said, if you want to just do your whole name and wide, maybe maybe you have like a, what was it? A Z and an X. Um, I'm trying to think of what other letters was was just better wide. Um, I think it was the V. If you, maybe if you have a lot of those in your name, then you might want to go wide the whole way around. And basically, you, that's the only way to do it is to basically just stand them up um, the one by ones and then just do a solid colors, you know, for the whole line. It's just for me, it, it felt like if there was a whole solid line on one side, it just looked too.